Hey everyone, it's Lucy from kbeautyhobby.com. As you may have guessed, I am a content creator and a skincare blogger focused mostly around Korean and other Asian skincare. And because of that, over the years, I have tried a million products. I get tons of them in PR these days and for sponsored content and such, but I've also bought a lot of it with my own money. When you're somebody like me who tests a lot of things and loves skincare, you don't always come back to the same products because there's always something new to test. However, the true favorites, the holy grails, the amazing things are the ones that I get over and over again, whether it's through PR and I choose to keep them and use them instead of gifting to friends, or if it's something that I keep repurchasing myself. So today's video is all about those products, the holy grails, the amazing must-haves that I keep getting again and again and using again and again at the expense of not testing something else because these are just that good. Of course, this is just my opinion and my experience and we're all different, so my must-haves might be total fails for you. I have combination skin with some oily areas and some dry areas. I am very, very fair, prone to pigmentation, like freckles. I burn super quickly and I have some early signs of aging and I am almost 33. Actually, by the time this posts, I'll probably be just about 33 because my birthday is coming up next month. So with all of that said, let's go through them. And these are in no particular order. I will put all the links to reviews in the description box. And then I also have some affiliate links and discount codes to run my favorite shops in there as well. The first two products are by the brand Axis Y. And I think this is my second or third jar of the Axis Y Mugwort Pore Clarifying Wash Off Pack. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome clay-based mask that does not dry out the skin, but it helps minimize the appearance of pores. It also soothes redness wonderfully, whether it's redness from breaking out or from me picking at the skin. I'm a recovering skin popper. It's getting better, but it used to be a really huge problem. I'm definitely recovering. It's not perfect. Uh, but this mask is just one of my favorites because it always soothes my skin and just takes away the redness. It makes the pores look so much better and more clear. And I love the inclusion of little mugwort pieces in it. You can see I'm about halfway through this jar. And it doesn't take that much to spread over the face. This is very, very creamy. I don't let clay masks dry on my skin because that can be potentially irritating to the skin and they honestly work just as well if you let them stay nice and moist on there. Um, but this is what it looks like. You can see little inclusions of mugwort and those are not irritating. They're not scratchy or anything, but they do help to provide very, very gentle physical exfoliation as you spread the mask and then as you rinse it off. And then this cleanser, the Axis Y Quinoa One Step Balanced Gel Cleanser is amazing. In one step, this takes off makeup, sunscreen, whatever. It does foam lightly, uh, but it's very gentle. Like I said, this is my second bottle, and the reason I have it is because I asked for it, because my child loves this so much. I also like it, but I let her have it because she doesn't like to do double cleansing. She's eight years old, but of course, with a, me for a mom, she knows all about sunscreen. She reminds me to apply sunscreen on her, and then if you ever try to wash off sunscreen with just soap or just a regular cleanser, you know that it doesn't come off very well. This one, however, takes it all off in one step, and that's why this is her dedicated bottle with a little pump. It's super easy for her to dispense. Now that she couldn't handle a tube, she could. Like, you know, she brushes her teeth and uses toothpaste and stuff like that in tubes, but if you ever lived with eight-year-olds, you know how messy they are. So this is way less messy than using a tube, and that's another reason I like it, but mostly it's the formula. It's just so nice and gentle. She actually uses it without fighting me on it. It's a win all around. Next is I'm from Honey Mask. I have a tube, uh, and actually my obsession with it started with a tube just like this. Back before I got an ounce of PR from anywhere, I bought something from Wish Trend on their Black Friday sale, and this was included as a sample. Not this tube, a different tube, but just like this. I fell in love from the first use. I had to buy the full-size jar. I bought the full-size jar, not this one, a different one. Then now I have it again. I missed it when I didn't have it. It's a wash-off mask. It's very nourishing. It smells like honey because it has honey in it and you don't want to refrigerate it or get it too cold because it'll get nice and solid, just like honey would. I'm almost to the bottom of this jar, but it's nice when my skin feels dry and I just want a little extra nourishment. 
and nourishment in a sense of moisturizing and not just hydration like what most sheet masks do. Almost out of this, have a backup. Completely full. This was from the Wish Trend Paw Promise box that just came out in early June. So I have this as a backup, almost running out of that, and then my tube is unopened, but I have several trips coming up this year. Suddenly I'm traveling a lot. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's for medical reasons, sometimes it's for fun, but suddenly I find myself traveling so much this year. So I'm keeping this to take with me because it's a nice, nice size. But this is a product I hoard. I have never given any I'm from honey things to people because it's all mine. This is mine. This is my treasure. <laughs> the I'm from honey serum is another winner from the I'm from honey line. They also have a cream, which is fine. But it was almost like a tiny bit too heavy for my combination skin. Um, so that one actually, I don't think I finished. Can't remember if I donated the rest of it to my mom. That's probably what happened to it. But this is my second bottle of the I'm From Honey Serum. This was in my most recent empties. Well, the other bottle was in my most recent empties. And then now this is my replacement bottle. And if another five of them landed in my lap, I would hoard all five because it's just a lovely way to nourish the skin. It has a gel consistency. My only complaint is when you get way to the bottom of the bottle, it is hard to dispense. It has this pump dispenser, but when you get way to the bottom because it's a thicker product, I don't know, it just doesn't like to dispense very well. So I have to take this off and shake it out of the bottle because I refuse to throw away even a drop of this gold. Uh, but it's just amazing. Highly, highly recommend if you have skin that's on the dry side or if you're like me and have combination skin that has some dry areas because this doesn't overwhelm the oily areas. It doesn't congest or clog them up. It just sort of provides this even nourishment and I don't know. I just love it. Here's a Japanese cleansing oil, Kumano Cosme Pharma Act Deep Cleanse Oil for day or night. And I think I meant, when I first ordered this, I bought it twice now. The first time I bought it, I think I was trying to buy the Softy Mo uh, oil, which has a very similar looking packaging, but I got this one by mistake and it was the best mistake ever. This is probably not the best for sensitive skin because it is very strongly fragranced and it smells like gummy bears, but I adore it and the texture is amazing. It is slightly thicker than most cleansing oils that I'm used to, so it doesn't run all the way down your elbows and it takes off all makeup really well. It's just a pleasure to use and it doesn't give me any irritation or anything like that. Fragrance doesn't bother my skin. I adore this. I love it with a passion. I will always use this. When I'm out of this one, I'll probably buy it again. They do sell refill packs of this as well if you want to reuse the bottle. So that's nice and just one of my favorite Japanese skincare products. On the topic of cleansers, I have a couple other favorites. These are foaming cleansers, so it would be like the second step cleanser after a cleansing oil. The first one is Haruharu Haru Wonder. I am surprised this doesn't get more hype. A lot of people talk about Haruharu Haru online, um, and it's mostly about their toner and their serums, because they're packaged really interestingly. The serums are in a packaging design inspired by a grain of rice. They won some awards for their packaging design even. But this cleanser doesn't get as much hype. It is fragrance free. It is a clear gel, very, very gentle, just absolutely lovely. This is actually my second tube of it. My only complaint about this product, and it's not even that big of a complaint, is the tube size. This is only 100 milliliters, so 3.4 ounces. And that's kind of small when it comes to foaming cleansers. I'm more used to seeing like five ounces and more. The Axis Y cleanser I showed is six ounces. So this is a little on the smaller side, but that's a pretty small complaint. I just want more of it, really. That's my complaint. I want more. Give me more. So this is my second tube and I'm not giving it to anybody. Another really good foaming cleanser and it's brand new and packaged now. I've had this at least one other time and I finished it. It's Revectin Skin Essentials Conditioning Cleanser. This one's 5.9 ounces. This also came in the Paw Prom Promise box to me from Wish Trend in June, or I think I actually got it in like late May to create promotional materials for that box before it officially launched. Uh, so I'm keeping this one sealed for now just because I have a couple other foaming cleansers open and I don't like to have a ton of stuff open all at once because once you open it, you only have 6 to 12 months depending on the product to use it up. Um, but while it's sealed, it is good until 2025. 
so I have some time for this, but it's nice and gentle, and cool, convenient pump. A lot of people really enjoy it. Actually, in my group, Korean Beauty Fanatics, when people ask for a gentle facial cleanser, this one gets recommended a lot. And it's been around for a couple of years and it still just seems to be only more and more popular. Even though there are all these other cleansers coming out, this one is holding strong, I feel like, in the top faves. Another Revectin favorite is their Revectin Skin Essentials Aqua Soothing UV Protector SPF 50 PA++++. Is it a competition for products to make product names as long as possible? Because seriously, I cannot remember these. Revectin makes several SPFs. They have this one with the aqua label. They have one with a green label that is more for dry skin. It is also fine, also all mineral filters, but it can be a little bit too nourishing for my combination skin. This one, however, is perfect. It is nice and matte, just how I like. Somebody with super dry skin might not like it, and then somebody with darker, deeper skin tone might find some white cast on them. I don't see white cast on me. And Revectin makes another sunscreen, the Tone Up sunscreen, which is absolutely a dream but probably not as useful for people who are not as fair as me because that one has a bit of a tint to it so for me it works almost like a makeup uh, product as well because it can even out the skin tone but anybody even a little bit darker than me I think would probably have a horrible cast from that one this one is a little more universal uh, but again probably not for like it's not for every single skin tone unfortunately Dr. Circle Kombucha Essence Yes, I have a backup already. This is my original bottle, I'm halfway down. It has multiple layers to it, like a creamy layer and a watery layer. You mix it up, make it look like a latte <laughs> before applying it to the skin. Super nourishing, just amazing. I have a photo of you. This is also very popular online right now, so you've probably seen a lot about this already. I doubt it's a new product. And unlike some overhyped things, I think this actually 100% deserves the, deserves the hype. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And you've probably seen it in my other videos because it's just a favorite of mine. And that's why I already have a backup for when this one runs out. Rotho, <laughs> Rotho Mentholatum Lip Products. I am most likely butchering the name and I am so sorry. So I have this one. These are lip SPFs. This one is scented but not tinted so it's clear but it has a scent this one is scented and tinted and it's an spf this one is a lip fondue i can't find that it has spf in it like they don't list an spf on the label or in the marketing materials but in the ingredients it says that it has a uv protector or uv cutter in it which is interesting and then this one here is not colored and not scented so no tint and no scent. And this one is very clearly says on here SPF 20, uh, while the others don't. So these three here are pretty much the same product in just different variations. So that's why I haven't opened this one yet because I kind of want to finish these. Uh, the tint in this one is super subtle. It is barely noticeable. Uh, and then this one obviously doesn't have a tint at all, but these are amazing because they're not chalky, they're not white, they don't have any weird taste to them. This one's just really pretty. It deposits this slight gold shimmer on the skin, and this one is the softest of all the formulas. It is almost like putting a luxurious cream mask on your lips is what that feels like. These ones are a little bit more like a normal, traditional a lip balm. They're a little bit more dense, a little bit more hard as far as texture. They're not hard by any means, but they're definitely not as soft as this one. I almost broke this one the first time I used it because it's so soft and I didn't expect it. But all of these are fantastic. And then I also have by this brand their lip cream, melting lip cream. I have the matcha kind and they also make the honey, I think, and the unscented, but they've all been amazing. This is a Japanese brand highly 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 recommend their lip products if you haven't tried them yet last but not least and i'm sorry it's so dirty but that's because i use it all the time this is the heimish daylism mascara it looks like this but you know usually cleaner <laughs> i already have a replacement but it's upstairs and i didn't dig it up for this video sorry about that this is my favorite mascara i'm wearing it now i don't know if you can see I don't know if my lens is like advanced enough to capture stuff super close up, but it is a really nice black mascara and it's a tubing mascara, meaning it creates this like polymer tube around your eyelash 
and once it sets, which is pretty much immediate, it's fine. I mean, I can touch my eyes, it doesn't leave anything on my fingers. To get it off, to take it off, all you need is water. If you get your eyes really nice and wet, and then just make this pulling motion gently, you don't have to tug on your lashes, just gently pull, or just even gently like rub, very, very gently. The mascara will come off. It looks kind of like spider legs when it does, but these black, basically, strings will come off, and they're not water-soluble. They'll just slide off of your eyelashes, so you don't get raccoon eyes, and you don't get any black residue or anything like that. They just come off, and you're done. Today, of course, I'm wearing a little more makeup than that for the video, but in my daily life, I only wear mascara and some brow mascara and a little powder, and that's it because I'm very lazy in the mornings. And, and this has just been amazing because I don't have to worry about um, removing it any certain way. And when I'm traveling, I try to pack as little as possible. So that's also nice because some eye makeup does not come off for me well with cleansing oils or cleansing balms even. So some makeup requires special makeup remover, but this does not. And it's just awesome. I love it. That's all I have for you today. I hope this was useful or at least entertaining. And if you have your own favorites that you keep going back to, please let me know in the comments because I'm always looking for new things to try. You can find me on Instagram at kbeautyhobbit, my blog kbeautyhobbit.com, and in my private Facebook group Korean Beauty Fanatics. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, please remember to always listen to your skin. Thank you so much.